I've had a lot of requests about how to deal with anxiety and depression in college, so today I brought in a very special guest. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you are new to my channel, my channel is all about helping you improve your mental health. And if you're in college, you need to have your mental health improved. So make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So this is a guest video. My buddy Callie Marie from the channel Psych Minded came over to do a video about dealing with anxiety and depression in college, but she also has a bunch of other tips. So anyways, a little backstory, if you will. Uh, I can't remember how we met. I think she might have watched one of my videos and commented. And when you guys comment, I usually like check on some of your names to see if you have a channel. And anyway, she just started a YouTube channel not too long ago. And typically, like, I wait a while until I collab with somebody. I just want to pretty much make sure that they're serious about YouTube. And let me tell you, this girl, this woman, Callie Marie, is hustling so hard. She is constantly uploading mental health videos. She has even started a podcast, and uh, her husband's on it too. And like, man, her channel is so good. Like, she's actually going to school for psychology, so she, not only has a lot of personal experience, but she's very well educated on this topic and her channel needs to get bigger. So do me a favor, do me a favor, let's make a deal. Let's make a deal right now. If you enjoy this video, you are gonna go over to Callie Marie's channel, Psych Minded. I'm gonna put links in the description and the info cards and in the comments and everywhere. You're gonna go over there and you're gonna subscribe. She's only at like 100 subscribers. Let's see if we can double that and get her to 200 subscribers, okay? So that's the deal we got, all right? So I'm gonna shut my mouth and pass it along to Callie Marie. Hi Chris, hi everyone. Thank you so much. I am so happy to be here. I am so excited to be joining all of you today and we are gonna be talking about something really awesome and exciting just in time for back to school. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Callie Marie and I am the host of the YouTube channel Psych Minded. You can go ahead and subscribe if you want videos on mental health and psychology and that is kind of how Chris found me. We are in a very similar niche so you will also enjoy my videos if you like Chris's amazing videos as well. I am a full-time psychology student. I have been enrolled at Arizona State University for the last year or so and have been working towards finishing my bachelor's degree and will be moving on to a master's degree in social work here as soon as I am graduated. <laughs> so I am currently in the middle of the grind and have gathered a lot of really good tips and helpful advice, especially for people dealing with mental health issues, for how they can manage their stress in college and not lose it, trying to manage everything that goes on in college and all of the added responsibilities that we have when we enroll. So speaking of mental health issues, I was diagnosed with depression and anxiety as well as anorexia nervosa when I was about 11 years old. So I have dealt with mental health issues for over the past 15 years. So I have had to deal with feeling super depressed or super anxious and trying to get to class and trying to finish assignments and feeling super overwhelmed. So I know exactly what college stress is like. So I'm gonna go back to the beginning a little bit I had originally enrolled in college when I was about 17 or 18. I had graduated high school a little bit early and so I jumped straight into college and for me it was very overwhelming and I ended up dropping out a couple semesters later. At the time I felt awful about it and I wasn't sure if I would ever go back. But then when I turned 23, I decided to go back to my local community college and it was one of the best decisions I have ever made. So if you are thinking of going back to college, don't feel discouraged if you feel like it's too late. It's never too late and classes are always starting. There's always the option to take a course just to see if you like it and I encourage you to check it out. So getting right into the tips, how do we manage stress in college? What are the best techniques and tips that we can use to manage stress and not feel super overwhelmed? Number one, you're gonna wanna plan and organize as best you can. If you struggle with organization or you're not very good with planning or deadlines, you're gonna wanna actually try and take a college course on how to do that. Being organized is a skill that you are going to need for the rest of your life and being able to manage schedules. So this is a skill that you are gonna wanna build up and constantly be exercising and working to improve. Some campuses will actually offer classes to undergraduates in terms of like learning how to schedule 
schedule and plan, they'll actually teach you how to do that. So I really encourage you to check out any class or just get yourself a really good planner that you love, that you know you're gonna use and schedule your time wisely. So once you've gotten organized, once you have a planner or some sort of system for how you're gonna keep track of all your deadlines and your homework assignments, you're gonna wanna schedule your time as best as you can. Schedule on time and off time. So be sure to schedule breaks. Be sure to look at when in your schedule is the best time for you to complete homework assignments. Maybe you have a part-time or a full-time job. So that's gonna be really critical and sort of seeing the blocks in your schedule when those times to study will be so you can take advantage of them. And two huge points about a schedule, stick to it, that's pretty obvious. And like I said, try to take a class on how you can learn different strategies for how to be really on time or scheduled and the college will be able to help you with some of those more intricate skills and next you're gonna to want to optimize your time so the reason I love a schedule the reason I love being organized is because for me I know that in the mornings that is the best time for me to do math I don't like math very much and I know that if I get it done first thing in the morning I'm gonna feel really good for the rest of the day plus my brain just tends to work better when it comes to math first thing in the morning to the best of your ability try to fill in your schedule in the mornings or the afternoons or the evenings with the activities that you're gonna feel like you want to do the most this is similar to how people schedule exercise some people are more inclined to exercise in the evening other people like to do it in the morning so kind of think of your schoolwork the same way when is gonna be the best time for you to study maybe you really like to study between class or you like to study at the end of the day so play around with it fill your schedule in and try out different things to see what works next is resources so I mentioned being on a college campus, you're gonna have access to classes that will help you stay organized, plan a schedule, and so look at all of the resources possible that your college offers, whether you're going to school online or offline, or you live on campus or you live off campus, knowing what the school has to offer can really help you out. Even if you don't need that specific help at the time, knowing that the school has it can really help save you some stress in the future. So if you know what kinds of math tutoring is available or or what kind of writing tutoring is available, that can be really, really helpful. So try to stay really on top of the different resources your college has and where you can get help in very specific areas of your academics. Okay, so now we're moving on to some less logistical stuff and some of my favorite tips that are really gonna help you mentally and emotionally. I think being scheduled, being organized, all of that of course is going to help you mentally. But my next few tips are gonna help you with the emotional stress of college. Number one, self-care. It's really, really important to listen to your body and listen to your gut. If there's a party going on on the weekend, you don't have to go if you don't feel like it. You don't have to do anything you don't feel like doing. And that is really important when it comes to college because you are obligated to finish assignments and to be at a certain place at a certain time. And so when your time is your own, you wanna optimize it the best you can by really doing activities that are gonna energize you or revitalize you or recharge you. And if you feel like saying no to something, please say no. One party, one missed outing is nothing compared to having solid mental health in college, so please take care of yourself, number one, first and foremost. Next is perspective. So I can speak on this because I failed a test last semester and I was absolutely devastated. It bothered me for days, I was crying. I was certain that the whole world was collapsing and Really the truth is, is one test is not gonna make or break your entire academic career. It's not even gonna make or break the class. Most college classes are designed that you do have a couple chances if you are really struggling to get your grade back up or to do extra credit, just communicate. Just communicate with your professors, with your teacher assistants, anyone who's helping you out. Keep those lines of communication open if you are struggling, but the bottom line, keep it in perspective and try not to be down on yourself if you do fail because it is okay and it is common and I am most of the time a straight A student and it still happens to the best of us. So don't be hard on yourself and really keep it in perspective. And also be patient with yourself, be compassionate. This is a hard, long, difficult journey for a lot of us and I am right there with you so I know how it is and I encourage you to keep grinding, keep being patient, keep hustling. You can absolutely do it and I know that someday it is totally gonna pay off for you and we are all in this together. So you can do it, stay really patient and compassionate with yourself. 
and congratulations for making the decision to go back to college. It is such a wonderful thing and can really benefit your future. So I am so glad to be able to share these tips with you today based on my experience and the things that I've been through myself as a student. So thank you so much, Chris, and everyone watching. I just have been stoked to be here and to share with you all, and I will see you guys soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. All right, so what'd you think? Remember, we had a deal. If you liked that video, you need to head over there right now and make sure you subscribe to our channel. Let's see if we can get her to 200 subscribers, okay? But anyways, I wanna talk a little bit about it. Like, man, she did such a great job. Like, after I watched it for the first time when she sent it over to me, I'm like, girl, this is good. So one of my favorite ones was just like talking about like scheduling and organizing and things like that. Like, you guys gotta understand, if you struggle with anxiety, you have to set up safeguards in your life so you don't get triggered. Like, for example, if you're procrastinator, your anxiety is going to be worse. Like, I do my best to be organized. I'm still kind of a scattered mess with certain aspects of my life, but I try to stick to a schedule because if not, I have a billion thoughts going through my head and I forget things and stuff like that and it makes me all sorts of anxious. So I love that she talked about it, all right? But I also love how she talked about, you know, some self-love and self-compassion and not beating yourself up over this stuff. This is where a lot of depression comes in. Like, I've made videos about like how to stop caring what people think, like typically what you'll find when you're getting depressed, the voice of your mom or your dad or your friends is in your ear when they're talking smack about your grades or how you're performing or a test you just took, right? Like be kind to yourself, okay? The sooner you let that go and learn from it, the sooner you can get back up and just kill it on that next test or exam. But anyways, I wanna hear from all of you. What was your biggest takeaway from this video? And this is gonna be a twofer. Did you go over and subscribe to our channel? Because I'm watching you, we had a deal, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for you. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I'm always making uh, videos about mental and emotional health. So make sure that you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. And last but not least, I have provided an easy button right there to go over to Callie Marie's channel and hit that subscribe button. All right, you are all amazing and I'll see you next time.